Hello everyone, this is author Maria Desmondi and um, mother of three. Hi, DJ Quizzle. Welcome um, to my Periscope today where I'm going to review this beautifully illustrated book um, by Eileen Cooper, illustrated by Gabby. I'm not going to say the last name because I don't want to mess it up. Sweetchka. I'm not sure how to say it. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is, hello, welcome to all those joining us. This is a book called The Golden Rule. And um, I have to tell you that the book is a little bit lengthy, so it's a little longer than the average children's book. So I would say the attention span of a three or four year old to read this book, it might be a little bit more challenging. Um, but maybe I would say the perfect age is like five, six, seven, eight. Um, and it would also be a good read aloud for a nine-year-old because of the concept of the book. My favorite thing about the book, not only is it the message, because we all love teaching the golden rule, because obviously if we all abided by the golden rule, we wouldn't have so many negative um, problems in our world. But I just love the illustrations. The illustrations in this book are absolutely stunning. So the book is about a conversation that the uh, that this little boy and his grandfather have about the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And um, the boy just doesn't understand what the rule is all about. So you can see that this book was done probably in acrylics or oil-based paints. It's beautiful. So it talks about how um, all over the world and different cultures, there's a lot of diversity in this book, that in different cultures they have different rules that all go back to the golden rule. So they're just said differently. In different cultures they have different rules that go back to the golden rule. Now at the end of the book, so it goes through and the boy gets examples of all of these different cultures. He gets examples of what would happen like, for example, if there was a new kid and what if you smiled at the new kid because that would be practicing the golden rule. And so the grandpa says, you've got it. Now at the end of the book, I'm gonna read the last page because it's just gorgeous. They talk about um, what if countries live by the golden rule, then people wouldn't wanna hurt each other and maybe we wouldn't have wars. Um, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Wonderful, Grandpa. But you can't make everyone in the world practice the golden rule. There's only one person you can ask to do that. This is what the Grandpa's saying. And the little boy says, me? He's asking the question. And the Grandpa says, you. It begins with you. I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful story. Um, in a world where it sometimes seems there is more that divides people than unites them, it is heartening that the golden rule is an underlying moral principle found in almost every religion and culture. And this is um, found in the author's note, and it goes through and talks about the different references of religion um, and those rules in the book. So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is author Maria De just heard my um, review on the book, The Golden Rule, and I would love for you to continue this conversation with me. Find me over on Facebook because every single week I do um, a book review on Thursdays right now, and I talk about different books that you can read to children to empower them with examples of character because it's really important that we teach children um, different forms of character like respect and kindness and The Golden Rule and you know, things like that early on um, before they are too old because these are actually learned behaviors. They really are. So join me. I'm Maria Desmondi on Facebook, and I'm not going to be doing as many Periscopes, everyone. My focus was for two months, I really wanted to hop on Periscope and meet new people and see what it was all about. And I have done that, and I'm going to continue to share my Periscope videos um, on my YouTube page and with my social media following. And I'll refer people back to my catch.me backslash Maria Desmondi page too, but I'm not going to be taking the time to be recording as many periscopes anymore because I need to move on to something different. And what that is, is in October, I am hosting an, um, a photo challenge in Instagram. So it's just really for fun and again, for meeting new fans and followers and connecting with more educators and parents. And that's kind of what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm getting a taste of all different types of social media, and I'm tracking to see you know, where I meet people and where the networking's all about, because my focus and my goal is to meet 
other like-minded individuals who really want to empower and um, make a difference in the lives of children. And I want to connect with those people and I want to continue doing great things. Have a great